time is one of the most mysterious and fundamental aspects of our existence. We live by it, measure it, and move through it. But what is time, really? Is it just a human invention to track change? Or is it a real, physical dimension woven into the very fabric of the universe? To explore these questions, we'll go beyond clocks and calendars. We'll travel into the realms of physics and spirituality, where time behaves in strange and beautiful ways, and where it may not flow at all. Let's begin. In our familiar three-dimensional world, we experience time as a linear progression, from past to present to future. We move through it one moment at a time, unable to jump forward or backward. But in the fourth dimension, time isn't just something we travel through. It becomes a physical dimension, much like how width, height, and depth define space in 3D. Imagine this. A three-dimensional object, like a cube, exists in space. But in the fourth dimension, that cube also has a timeline, a visible trail of where it has been and where it's going. A four-dimensional being wouldn't just see the cube in a single moment. It would perceive its entire history and future all at once, like a glowing serpent stretched across the fabric of time in two dimensions, a flatlander can perceive only slices of three-dimensional objects. Similarly, in our three-dimensional world, we see just single moments of four-dimensional objects. But in the fourth dimension, time is fully visible, like watching a movie, not frame by frame, but all at once. A four-dimensional being wouldn't see a human, as a body frozen in the present, but as an extended, twisting form, a time snake stretching from birth to death, with every moment connected and visible in a single, continuous shape. Visually, this concept is often described as a block universe, a frozen landscape of time that a four-dimensional being can walk through. Imagine a book where every page represents a moment, all existing simultaneously. A four-dimensional being could flip to any page, in any order, experiencing time not linearly, but all at once. Imagine you're a character in a comic book, living one panel at a time, unaware of what comes next. A human, existing in three dimensions, can flip through the entire book and see your whole story from beginning to end. That's how a four-dimensional being might perceive you, not moment by moment, but as a complete timeline, past, present, and future all at once. Let's consider an analogy. Imagine a line drawn across a page, a two-dimensional creature living only in length and width would see this line as its whole universe, but you, from a higher perspective, can see the entire line at once, its beginning, middle, and end. Now imagine someone looking at our world from the fourth dimension. To them, our entire lifespan, from birth to death, would be visible all at once. They wouldn't just see you in the present moment. They'd see every version of you, stretched across time, like a glowing ribbon or a snake slithering through space-time. Physicists sometimes call this a time snake. In this view, you are not a static object frozen in a moment. You are a four-dimensional shape made of every moment you've ever lived and will live. You're not a point in time. You're a structure in time. So why do we only experience one moment at a time? Why don't we see our entire time snake the short answer, consciousness. Our brains are wired to process time sequentially. We remember the past. We anticipate the future. But we only ever feel the now. It's like a flashlight shining on one small part of a giant tapestry. This moving spotlight theory of consciousness may be the reason time feels like it flows. 
when in reality, it may not flow at all. Every moment exists, but we're only aware of one slice of it at a time. Now, let's explore how time is perceived in fourth density consciousness from a spiritual perspective. In the fourth density of consciousness, or the fourth dimension, the way they experience time starts to change. What we think of as linear time, past, present, and future happening in a straight line, begins to fade away. This idea of time is something that comes from the third density, or third dimension, where we see ourselves as separate from others and focus on duality. But in the fourth density, which is more about unity and love, they begin to move beyond those limits. Time becomes less rigid and more fluid. In the fourth density, time is experienced as something vastly different from what we know in our third density reality. Instead of perceiving time as a linear sequence, where events unfold in a fixed order from past to present to future, beings in the fourth density come to recognize time as a fluid, multidimensional phenomenon. They begin to understand that all moments exist simultaneously, rather than one after another. This realization radically changes their perception of the world and existence itself. For example, imagine standing on a mountain and being able to see every path leading to the summit, not just the one you're currently on. In the third density, we would walk a single path and only be aware of it as we progress forward, each step following the previous one. But in the fourth density, it's as if all possible paths to the summit are laid out before you, each one coexisting in a moment of timelessness. You don't just see the mountaintop from one perspective. You can simultaneously perceive all the ways to get there whether it's through the forest, across a ridge, or down a valley. These paths are not separate or isolated. They weave together, creating a rich, interconnected experience. This perception allows fourth density beings to see multiple timelines at once, but not as we typically understand them. Rather than viewing alternate realities as distinct, separate paths that we might travel down in a branching decision tree, fourth density beings perceive all timelines as interwoven. Every choice, every action, every possibility exists within a vast, intricate network of potentialities. Imagine a spider's web, where each thread represents a potential outcome, and every thread is connected to every other one. As events unfold in one part of the web, they affect other parts, creating a dynamic, ever-evolving picture. In this interconnected reality, beings in the fourth density can observe how their actions influence not only their own timeline, but countless other possible realities. For instance, a seemingly small decision, like choosing whether to turn left or right at a crossroads, could create ripple effects across the fabric of time affecting other versions of themselves in parallel timelines. These choices don't stand apart from each other. They blend together, layering across dimensions like a living tapestry, with each layer representing a different version of reality that all coexist at once. This multidimensional experience of time allows fourth density beings to access knowledge an understanding of past, present, and future simultaneously. They may experience their future self-offering guidance from a higher point in the web, or they could gain insights from events that haven't occurred yet, understanding their deeper purpose in a way that transcends linear time. They don't need to wait for things to happen. Everything already is and all is understood as one vast, interdependent whole. A fourth density being can perceive different possible outcomes, or timelines, 
but these aren't fixed or separate paths. Instead, they represent different vibrational frequencies within a complex, multidimensional reality. To help understand this, imagine a crystal with many faces. Each face of the crystal represents a unique possibility or timeline. The fourth density being can look at this crystal and see how each face is connected to the others, like an intricate web. They can observe how each possibility influences and is influenced by the others, understanding that the entire crystal, made up of all these interconnected faces, represents the infinite possibilities that exist within the multiverse. In this state, a fourth density being doesn't see different timelines as separate, distinct paths. Instead, they understand that all possibilities are connected and part of a larger whole. They can move through this multidimensional reality, choosing to focus on specific possibilities or outcomes, but always staying aware of the bigger picture that includes all of them. It's like being able to zoom in on a part of a vast map while still knowing how everything else is connected. This is why, when people seek help and guidance from higher dimensional beings, such as angels, spirit guides, deities, and deceased loved ones, they can offer insight into our future. They can perceive our future and possible timelines from the higher dimensions. I hope this video has helped clarify the concept of time and how it operates in higher densities and dimensions. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.